The U.S. Department of Defense announced that BAE Systems Land and Armaments LP, Sterling Heights, Michigan, is awarded a $211,477,415 firm fixed price modification to a previously awarded contract for amphibious combat vehicles, ACV. The total cumulative face value of the contract is $2,552,695,877. This contract modification provides for the exercise of options for the procurement of 40 full-rate production ACV personnel variants and associated production, fielding and support costs, and support and test equipment. Work will be performed in York, Pennsylvania, 60%, Aiken, South Carolina, 15%, San Jose, California, 15%, Sterling Heights, Michigan, 5%, and Stafford, Virginia, 5%, with an expected completion date of February 2026. Fiscal 2024 Procurement, Marine Corps, funds in the amount of $211,477,415 will be obligated at the time of award and will not expire at the end of the current fiscal year. Marine Corps Systems Command, Quantico, Virginia, is the contracting activity. The Amphibious Combat Vehicle, ACV, is a program initiated by Marine Corps Systems Command to procure an amphibious assault vehicle for the U.S. Marine Corps to supplement and ultimately replace the Aging Assault Amphibious Vehicle, AAV. The program replaces the Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle, EFV, program cancelled in 2011. Originally a plan to develop a high-water speed vehicle, the program has expanded into a multi-phased approach to procure and develop several types of amphibious-capable vehicles to address near- and long-term requirements. The competition for the final project ended in 2018 which saw the birth of an eight-wheel drive armored fighting vehicle based on the Italian Iveco Super AV produced by BAE Systems and Iveco starting in 2020 with 36 units and from 2021 with 80 vehicles per year for five years. ACV, a family of vehicles. The ACVC will provide multiple workstations for Marines to maintain and manage situational awareness in the battle space. The ACV-30 mounts a stabilized, medium-caliber weapon system to provide the lethality and protection the Marines need while leaving ample room for troop capacity and payload. The ACVR will provide field maintenance, recovery, and repair capabilities to the assault amphibian companies and battalion in support of the Marine Division. 